at we're Operation SOS, and our project name was the Solar Swing. Um, we are students at Humble State University, and our goal was to build a solar oven that could be replicated um, by elementary schools all across the United States. So before you start building your solar oven, the tools you'll need are a sheet metal shear, um, tin snips, staple, stapler, a hammer, pliers, a drill with assorted drill bits, and a riveter. Hi, I'm Liana and I'm also on Operation SOS and I'm going to talk about the materials we needed to build the solar swing. The outside box is made from sheet metal. We got it as recycled file cabinet material and recycled range stove bottom. Also we have these L-shaped L aluminum sidings and those are um, and you also need rivets to hold those together. The panels are made from 20, in 20 inch by 30 inch flat corrugated plastic. You also are going to need a roll of mylar for the panels in the interior. You need a wooden dowel to hold the swing. You need two lengths of chain to suspend the swing. The swing itself is made from a full size cookie sheet. And on each corner of the cookie sheet, there are four S-clips. For insulation, you use one and a half inch R-Max foam board, cut to size. Also around the top, you use, you use stove gasket, about approximately four feet of stove gasket. You also are going to need two stainless steel metal hinges to hold up the glazing, which is a pane of tempered glass. You'll need approximately 14 stainless steel bolts, nuts, and washers. And these, these will hold up the flanges and also the hinges. Also, you're going to need a thermometer on the inside to show you how hot your oven is. Our cost for all these materials was approximately $300. Retail, it can approach over $400. So we had savings because we shopped at thrift stores. We salvaged metal from the junkyard, and we also got donations from com community members. And that's about it for materials. Thank you. To build the solar oven, first you will need to flatten the metal that will make up the oven wall. Next, the metal sides need to be cut to size. After you have the walls cut, it's time to cut the L brackets. These need to be cut to the same length as the corresponding oven side. Also, the L brackets used for framing, the tempered glass need to be cut. After all the cuts have been made, the oven is ready to be assembled, but one side of the oven should not be attached until the arm is in place. The L brackets are riveted to the sides of the oven and the frame is riveted to the L brackets that are on the top of the oven. After all but one side of the oven is put together, it's time to prepare the RMAC. The RMAC must be cut to fit the inside of the oven. Be sure when taking measurements the space the RMAC takes is accounted for. Measure out the RMAC to fit the base. When you measure the walls, account for the difference in height due to the RMAC taking up space. Once the RMAC is cut to size, make sure you have the dimensions right by fitting it in the oven. Next, measure out enough mylar to wrap around each piece of RMAC. You will be wrapping these like presents, so keep in mind that when measuring. Once the mylar is cut, wrap each piece of armac, stapling it in place as you go. Lastly, place the flange on the armac where it would rest if assembled. Trace the flange and cut into the mylar and armac, making enough space for the flange to rest inside. There must also be a hole big enough for the dowel to fit through. Next, we will assemble the panel. Cut the corrugated plastic to size and cut the mylar large enough to cover the top of each panel. Smooth silicone glue along the edge of the plastic and put the mylar in place. Now the swing is assembled by first cutting the wooden dowel, then working one end into the flange. After the flange is on one end, slide on both pieces of wrapped armac, then put the flange on the other end of the dowel. Check to make sure the dowel is of the right size, and if so, drill holes for the bolt and bolt it in place. After the dowel is set up, put hooks in place on the dowel. Next, get the cookie sheet and drill holes through all four corners big enough for the S-clips to fit. 
Once the holes are drilled, slide the S clips through. Attach chain width wise along the cookie sheet, holding it to each S clip and then hook it on the dowel. Secure the last wall using rivet. To finish up, lay oven rope on the frame and rivet it into place. Next, drill the bottom of the hinges into place along the back of the oven. Put the tempered glass in place and glue the top of the hinges to the outside of the glass. To decorate the oven, we made magnets with children from Trinidad Elementary School. We used foam and magnetic strips at the base and decorated using any art supplies handy. While testing our design gave us a good excuse to make cookies, it also showed that the oven reached a maximum te temperature of 275 degrees Fahrenheit in our coastal climate. After you built the oven, you can put the panels in place. They're held in place by these plastic clips, and you just slide them right through. And depending on whether you need more sun or not, you can tilt the oven and the swing will compensate. compensate. Uh, the top of the oven is the lid, and you just lift it and place your, your food inside and close it back down. There will be a handle, and you enjoy your food. Right now we're baking some cookies. Wait, Tatiana, here's some milk. Thank you. Mmm.